Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little diaper cover for baby girls between six and nine months old. It's part of a new crochet set where I have already showed you how to crochet this little dress. This one here, it's absolutely beautiful and very easy to make. I'll go ahead and leave the link up here and stay tuned for the matching baby booties these here and the headband i'll go ahead and upload these tutorials shortly now like i said this little set is for baby girls between six and nine months old but you can easily make it smaller or bigger just be sure to check out the information box below i'll go ahead and leave some information there on how you can make it smaller or bigger so be sure to check that out also at the end of the video i leave you the finished measurements and once i upload all of these tutorials i'll go ahead and leave the link up here so that you can easily find them and remember my channel is bilingual all of my tutorials are always in english and in spanish now if you prefer a written pattern check out my etsy shop i'll go ahead and leave the link in the information box and in the comments okay so let's get started and thank you for watching Okay, to begin, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this yarn. It's called Super Soft Baby Double Knit James C. Brett. I'll be using this color pink and white. I'll start with white to make the waistband, and then we're going to switch to the pink to make the rest of the baby bloomers. Now, if you're in the US, you can use any light number three baby yarn. Okay, so here, to begin with the white yarn, I'm going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now into the second chain from the hook, we're going to make a single crochet. And one single crochet into each one of the chains so that at the end here, we are left with seven single crochets. This is how I'm going to make the waistband. If you prefer to make it any other way, you can. Just make sure that at the end, when you're done, we have the same number of stitches or rows. I'm at the end here. I have seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now chain one, turn, and from here on, this is how you're going to make these single crochets. You are going to go into the back loop of each one of the single crochets and make a single crochet. Make sure you always go through the back loop only, like this. And this will create a nice stretchy waistband. Here's the last one. I have seven single crochets. Again, chain one, turn, and repeat. Single crochet through the back loop only on each one of the single crochets. This is how you're going to continue. I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do, but continue watching and I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. So I'll meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I finished making my waistband. I did a total of 80 rows. And now what we're going to do is we're going to join both sides. So here, insert your hook through this first stitch and then grab this loop, bring it through the front, chain one, and then insert your hook back into this same stitch and into the first single crochet here in the back, grab a loop and make a slip stitch. Now insert your hook into the next stitch here and into the second single crochet here in the back, grab a loop and make a slip stitch. Same thing into the next stitches here. Continue and I will meet you once this part here is done to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished joining both sides. So now what we're going to do is we're going to work single crochets here along the top. Now, if I do one single crochet for each one of the rows, I have 80 single crochets, but I need to finish this row with 90. So we need to increase 10 stitches. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to chain one and into this next row right here, I'm going to make a single crochet. Into the next six rows, I'm going to make the same thing, one single crochet, so that I have seven single crochets here for these next seven rows. So let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And into this eighth row, 
I'm going to increase. So I'm going to make two single crochets. Again, into the next seven rows, I'm going to make one single crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And into this next row, I'm going to make two single crochets. This is how you're going to continue, so I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row of single crochets, and I have a total of 90 single crochets. To finish, we're going to go on top of the first single crochet, and we're going to join with a slip stitch. Now, I've also cut my yarn, so just pass your yarn through this last loop. If you're not changing color, then you don't have to cut your yarn. You're just going to chain four, but I'm going to change to this pink color, so I'm going to insert my hook into the same stitch here where I did the slip stitch. I'm going to grab a loop like this, and I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Now, into this same stitch here, we're going to make a double crochet chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Okay, we're going to make these fans. You should have five double crochets, including the chains. One, two, three, four, five, separated by one chain. Now, to make your next fan, you're going to skip one, two, three, four, and into the fifth single crochet, you're going to make your next fan. So make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. So here's the second fan. We have five double crochets separated by one chain. Now again, you're going to skip one, two, three, four, and into the fifth, make your next fan. This is all you're going to do for the rest of this row. At the end of this row, we're going to have 18 fans. So continue like this, and I will meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. This is where we did these fans, and I have a total of 18 fans. Now, to finish, we're going to go here to the side where we have these chains and join with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish this row. Now, for the next row, what we're going to do is we're going to chain three, and into each one of the chain one spaces of each of the fans, we're going to make a single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three and then a single crochet each one of the fans is going to have three chain three spaces one two three now we're going to jump to the next fan and into the first chain one space we're going to make a single crochet and then again chain three single crochet chain three single crochet chain three single crochet this is how you're going to continue for this second row. So I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row. This is where we did these chains separated by one single crochet. Now to finish, we're going to go here into this first chain three space and we're going to make a slip stitch like this. Now we're going to make two more slip stitches. So into the single crochet right here, make another slip stitch and into this second chain three space, another slip stitch. Now you're going to chain four, and then you're going to make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Here's the first fan. Now we're going to jump to the next fan and into the center chain three space, one, two, three, which is this one here. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. This is all you're going to do for the rest of this row, so continue, and I will meet you at the end of this third row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row. This is where we did these fans separated by one chain. Now to finish, go here to the side and join with a slip stitch. 
Now for the fourth row, we're going to do this row where we do these chain three, and then into each one of the chain one spaces, you make a single crochet. So let me show you. You're going to chain three, and into the next chain one space, make a single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet. So for each fan, you're going to have three chain three spaces. One, two, three. Now jump to the next fan and you're going to do the same thing. Into this first chain one space, make a single crochet, then chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet. This is how you're going to work each one of these fans. Continue and I'll meet you here at the end. I'm here at the end of this row. This is where we do three chains and then a single crochet. To finish, I did my last single crochet here, so I'm just going to go here where I have this first chain three space and make a slip stitch. Now, I'm going to make one more slip stitch, so I'm going to go here where I have this single crochet, make a slip stitch, and then inside this chain three space. Now here, I'm going to chain four, and then I'm going to make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Now jump to the next fan and right here, right in the center, make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. This is how you're going to work each one of the fans. You're just going to do five double crochets separated by one chain. Continue and I'll meet you at the end of this fifth row. I'm here at the end of this fifth row. This is where we do these fans separated by one chain. Now here to finish, you're just going to go to the side and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this fifth row. Now from here on, this is all you're going to do. You're just going to repeat these two rows. So for the sixth row, you're going to chain three and into the next chain one space, make a single crochet, then chain three again, single crochet, chain three again, single crochet, jump to the next fan and into the first chain one space, make a single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, and then jump to the next fan and do the same thing. Single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, and so on. That's how you're going to continue for the rest of this row. When you finish, you're going to go here to this chain three space, join with a slip stitch, then make a slip stitch into the single crochet and a slip stitch inside this chain three space, then chain four and then repeat the row of fans. So continue like this, just repeat these two rows. I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. So I'll meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I finished making this part. I did a total of 16 rows. That's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 rows. Now, this part here is measuring from the waistband to the end of this row. It's measuring about 19 centimeters, which is about 7.5 inches. If you want to make this part here longer, you can just continue in the same way. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to divide the legs. So we have a total of 18 fans. Now, what I did here is I have stitch markers between the two center fans for the back side and the two center fans for the front side. So for each one of the legs, I'm going to have seven fans. That's two, four, six, seven, and then here, two, four, six, seven. So beginning here, this is where I finished, and then I did my three slip stitches so that I'm in the center of this fan. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to chain three, and into this same space here, I'm going to make three double crochets. Now, including the three chains, I have four double crochets. Now, we're going to skip these seven fans, and into the eighth fan, which is this one here, I'm going to make four double crochets. One, two, three, four. Now jump to the next fan and in the center here make four double crochets. Two, three, and four. 
Now skip again these seven fans, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and into the eighth fan right here, which is the this one here in the back. Turn your work like this, and right in the center, make four double crochets. One, two, three, four. Now, to finish here, this part, we're going to go on top of the third chain right here and join with a slip stitch. And now this part here is done. That's what it looks like. Now, if you want to make one more row so that this part here is, is longer, you can. I'm just going to leave it like this. And here, I'm just going to cut my yarn. Make sure you leave a, a little tail like this because what you're going to do after, you're going to pass your yarn through this last loop like this. And then once we're done here, you're just going to join like this with a crochet hook or with a needle and just tie it like this so that this part here is joined. Now, if you prefer to close this part here, then just do a couple of stitches and that should also work. Okay, so here, what we're going to do now is we're going to go here to this chain three space. See, this is the center, so right to the side, I'm going to add a fan. So make a loop and you're just going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to make these fans. We're going to continue with the same stitch pattern. So I have to do the row of fans here. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and then double crochet. So here's the first fan. Now we're going to jump to the next fan and right in the center here, we're going to do the next fan. This part here is exactly in the same way we've been doing all of these other rows here. So all you're going to do from here on is just continue and do this same fan on top of each one of these fans like this, like that. Okay, so continue and I will meet you here at this other end to show you how we're going to work this part here right in the center and then finish this first row. Okay, I finished making these fans. I have eight fans. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, what I'm going to do here is we have this fan. This is where we divided the legs and we have four double crochets right in the center of this fan. So right to the side in this chain two space, I'm going to make my ninth fan like this. Now, we're going to make one more and we're going to do it right here, right in the center. This is where we divide it. So right here in between these two fans or th these two shells here, we're going to make our 10th fan. Now, to finish, we're going to go here to the side where we have these chains and join with a slip stitch. And this first row here is done. That's what it looks like. You should have a total of 10 fans. Now, for the next row, we're going to repeat the rows of chains and then single crochet. So chain three and into the next chain one space, make a single crochet. Chain three, single crochet. Chain three, single crochet. Jump to the next fan, into the chain one space, make a single crochet, chain three, and so on. This row is exactly the same as these others here. So continue, and I will meet you at the end of this second row. Okay, I finished this row where we did three chain single crochet. I'm right here in the center of this fan. Here I finished with a slip stitch, and then I did these next two slip stitches. So I'm right in the center. Um, now, in this next row, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to reduce. If you want to make this longer, you can continue and add more rows in the exact same way that I just showed you. Just repeat these two rows until you have the length that you want your legs to be, and then just finish in this way. I'm going to chain three, and then three double crochets including the three chains that have four double crochets. Now, in the middle of each one of these fans, make four double crochets like this. And that's all we're going to do. Four double crochets 
and then four double crochets. Continue and I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I finished this row where we did four double crochets here at the end. I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, pass my yarn through this last loop. Now, with this color white, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here in the center of these two fans right there. I'm going to grab a loop like this and I'm going to chain one. Here, we're going to work front post and back post double crochets. Now, if you have a hard time making front post and back post double crochets, what you can do is just make one or two rows of half double crochets on top of each one of the double crochets. It's going to look a little different, but it should still look nice. Now here, to make your front post double crochets, you're going to yarn over, and beginning here where we have these chains, you're just going to make a front post double crochet into the next back post double crochet front post double crochet back post double crochet again we have the next group of four double crochets make a front post double crochet back post double crochet front post double crochet and back post double crochet this is all you're going to do all around, so continue and I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row. This is where we did front post and back post double crochets. To finish, we're just going to go here to the side where we have this chain and join with a slip stitch. Now, if you notice that this part here is too tight around the legs, what you can do instead is instead of making four double crochets here in this row, just make five, and that should add a little bit more to the legs. Now, for the next row, chain one, and then we're going to work a front post double crochet, next one back post double crochet, and so on. We're just going to repeat this same row. So continue and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of the second row, front post and back post double crochets. To finish, we're just going to go here to the side and join with a slip stitch. Now, I'm only going to do two rows here. If you want to make this part here longer, you can. Just go ahead and add uh, more rows in the same way that I showed you here. Now, for the last row, I'm going to chain four and I'm going to skip one, two, and into the center here between the third and the second double crochet, I'm going to make a slip stitch chain four again skip one two and in the center between these two here a slip stitch chain four skip one two and in the center here a slip stitch chain four if you count the double crochets skip two one two and in the center between the second and the third a slip stitch continue like this and i'll meet you at the end Okay, I finished this last row here. I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and passed my yarn through this last loop, and this part here is done. Now, you're going to do the exact same thing we did on this side. You're going to do it here on this other side. So I'm going to start you off here for the first row. This is where we do the fan row. So we're going to go right here. I still have my stitch marker, so we have this fan. This is where we did the four double crochets. So right to the side, we have this chain three space. So grab a loop here with the same yarn and chain four. One, two, three, four. Now here we're going to make our fan. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet here's the first fan now to make the next one you're going to go here right in the center right here and we're going to make a fan right here you're going to do a double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet chain one and double crochet now we're going to jump to this fan. This is where we have the four double crochets in the center and right to the side of these three chains. Insert your hook there and make your fourth or your third fan. Yes, your third fan. Jump to the next one right on top inside the chain three space. Make your fourth fan. And then from here on, you're just going to continue in the exact same way. At the end of this row, you're going to have 10 fans. So, so far we have 
four. One, two, three, four. Then you're going to do five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you're going to finish here with ten fans. You're going to join to the side here with a slip stitch and then repeat the row of the single crochet chain three all around. And then you're going to finish with the row where we do four double crochets and then the rest. That's all we're going to do here. So continue. I'm going to go ahead and finish this side and then I'll come back and show you the finished diaper cover. Okay, I went ahead and finished the other leg and this is what it looks like. My diaper cover is all done. Now here, what I did was I just sewed in these little flowers. These you can buy anywhere. I bought these from Walmart. These are little rosebuds. Now you can also add them here in the back. I'm just going to leave it like this. And this is my finished diaper cover. There it is. So this little set is almost done. I already showed you how to crochet the little dress. This one here, it's absolutely beautiful and very easy to make. Stay tuned for the matching baby booties, these here and the matching headband. I'll go ahead and upload this video next. Now, let me give you the finished measurements. From the top of the waist down to the middle here where we divide the legs, it's measuring about 20 centimeters, which is about 8 inches. The total length from the waist down to the end of this last row here, it's measuring about 24.5 centimeters, which is about 9.75 inches. And this part here right on top, it's measuring about 26 centimeters, which is about 10.25 inches. So based on these measurements, this little diaper cover along with the little dress is for baby girls between six and nine months old. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.